Yo, what is up guys, Eagle Eyes Jr. here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys this new game called Limited Simulator 2. I don't know when it came out, but it's pretty dang uh, new by uh, the trade group, of course, because this is a limited simulator. If you guys know about the first limited simulator, this is basically, you know, the, the second game. And so, I wanted to show you guys this game since I've been really addicted to it, I've been playing it a lot. And I wanted to show you guys some, uh, some codes, tips, uh, and secrets on this game. And if I don't get through everything in this video, I'm going to make a, a part 2. Uh, if I need to uh, to explain everything that you guys need to know about this game if you want to play it or if you already play it and you just want to learn new things about this game I know just about everything in this game so hopefully you guys can uh, rely on this video for a lot of your knowledge so first I'm gonna start off with the basics here's your money at the top left um, as you can see it goes up constantly by itself now I did this uh, if you click on this metal thing here you see that you have daily quests and you have main quests and I've done the main quest where if you obtain 250 KOs, you get an extra uh, income in this game. So originally you would get only $350, but now since I've gotten a plus $500 income from completing this uh, main quest, I now get $850. Wait, is that $850? Yeah, that's $850 every single time. So I basically get almost triple the amount that regular players would get. So, you know, to obtain 250 KOs, you need to, you know, come in the sword fight arena over here where it says mini games and basically you need to kill 250 people it's not the easiest thing in the world but if you just get some friends to help you or if you just get people in the server to come sword fight with you 250 KOs isn't actually that hard it just takes a little while I, I probably got it in like two hours of grinding it didn't take me too long it's definitely worth uh, worth the reward though because I can buy almost everything in the game with this extra income so that's the very first thing I suggest you uh, try and do once you join this game just get some kills you can get extra money all right, and then there's these other main quests to reach prestige 10 level 30 um, So that's gonna be that's gonna take you guys a long time. You'll probably never get to this as you can see I'm only 71 out of 331 Prestige 10 is so hard man like it's just you probably never gonna get it But if you do I have no idea what the reward is because it has question marks And then if you complete 50 daily quests, which are the things over here, which unfortunately you only get three daily quests every day so Theoretically, it would take you quite a while. Let's see. So it would take you about 17 to 18 days to be able to um, reach this 50 daily quest achievement. But once you do get that, you get a timer pass. Now, what basically this means is every time the items in the bottom right pop up in the screen, you'll, uh, or I'm actually not sure how this game pass works, but basically I think it shows a timer every time uh, something like here shows up. So you get like kind of an extra warning before it pops up. So you may be able to beat other people to buying it. But yeah, so if you guys don't know the main goal of this game, you basically have to just basically buy the stuff and become the richest player in the server. So yeah, it's not like too too crazy of a game. It's basically just like the first sim limited simulator. So if you know how that game works, you should know how good this game works. You basically just buy stuff in the catalog to become the, one of the richest players in the lobby. Now here's a disclaimer, guys, If in case you didn't know. Every time the server resets... Uh, like every time the, the the round ends, I mean. So see how there's 82 out of 90 items released. Once it reaches 90, the round is gonna reset and everyone's everyone's items is gonna go away. So yeah, the items that you buy only last for that round. Now, when you buy stuff with ticks, this stuff saves forever. Like so, make sure you guys when the round ends, convert all your money up here to the top left to ticks. You know, you only get one ticks per $10,000, but it adds up, trust me. So you want to make sure you do this at the end of every round. Uh, you get like you get like a minute of time to be able to do this stuff. So you got plenty of time to be able to do it before the round actually resets. There's a tick store. As you can see, you can buy stuff with the ticks that you earn. I currently have 7,000 ticks, so I could buy... <laughs> actually, this doge thing costs 69.69. Oh my god, what a, what a funny number. Wow. Um, I personally don't like any of these items. I would buy the doge, but <laughs> it's literally so much. Like, I don't care about the space right here. Some of this stuff is super overpriced. I have no idea why it is, but yeah. I, I actually have a couple items um, that I bought from the tick store. It'll show up in the items uh, tab if you go to the backpack. This is where your stuff with ticks... Uh, where you buy with ticks comes at. So I bought the Audiorite helmet for 333 and the Core Blocks Death Speaker package for 450. Now if you guys wonder how to get the Core Blocks Death Speaker legs, that'll come in its own separate item. So this isn't actually this is the whole package. Um, the separate legs will come come in the store by themselves. I'm not sure when. It's just randomized it, I guess. So yeah, <laughs> don't buy the Core Blocks Death Speaker package expecting to only get the legs unless if it only shows the legs on the uh, item. Anyway, and when you press the shopping cart down here, 
this is where all the items that have been um, added from the bottom right corner down here all those items go into the store now you can choose to resell the stuff that you get like you know I have one of these I can technically sell this thing if I wanted to um, not many people usually sell their items because they want to keep them obviously but if you're trying to get some extra money then you can uh, you can sell your items I suggest you sell them for above the wrap value though because um, most people will buy the item like if it's especially if it's a good item like see how these people are selling above the uh, the wrap by a little bit now these are bots you know you see people with Glenn David there's all kinds of bots in the server if you walk around like we got John we got Jackie we got David we got Matt all of them will have the bot tag in them and so these bots they will actually buy the items that show up in the bottom right uh, after about three no two to three seconds of it showing up so you basically have a little window before the bots start buying the item you know in case people don't actually buy ooh dark heart uh, oh sweet we got it um, so yeah uh, <clears throat> there's bots in the server basically they're, they're um, the reasoning for them being here is not only for memes because like if you see in the chat they're the typing random stuff like let's see what we got here we got bot greg random repeated text <laughs> uh, that's not their only purpose though they'll actually resell the items that they buy some of the time like not all of them will do it but like let's let's just go no not that item like let's see let's go to this thing look resellers we got greg and john selling it for just a little bit above the wrap so if a bot happens to buy a really good item and no one else buys it and it's in the shop and you have enough money buy it if you want because the bots are selling it for a good price and you're probably only going to get it from a good price from the from the bots unless uh you got a friend that'll sell it to you cheap or something like that but that's where trading can come into play you can send trades of course you know who, why would you not be able to send trades in a limited simulator game you know you got to make sure each person has at least one item equipped in the trade for it to be able to work though like as you saw I, like i can't just get an item from him and not s uh, send anything i have to send an item sometimes you have to re-click the items for it to work see there we go but yeah, you need to trade at least one item. It doesn't matter how much it's worth. You know, you could you could literally trade your Dominus for a sword. You know, there's nothing. Oh, we got a trade right here. Minus 84,000. Jeez, what a bad trade. Uh, items are receiving. I guess he's giving me that, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so here comes on to my next thing. There's an obby over here. If we go to my quests here, um, it says complete the obby. And I get 500 EXP if I complete it. So this is often what a daily quest, uh, the, the obby will often pop up in the daily quest tab. So this obby is actually pretty difficult. If you guys have, uh, you know, never tried this obby, just take it from me. It's, it's very challenging. Like this bottom part's pretty easy. Just some simple, you know, wraps around those tiny walls. You got to jump around here, you know, not, nothing too challenging. Uh, but it starts to get harder as we go above. So I'm going to get you guys to watch me do this obby so you know how to do it yourself. You shouldn't really have any problems until you get to the very end here. So, oh my god, see I fell. I'll fast forward back to that spot for you guys. Okay, so as I was doing the obby, the game just ended. As you could tell, I ended in ninth place. Obviously, I just joined the game, so I wasn't trying to win. But uh, yeah, uh, it'll show the game is over. So I'm going to go ahead and convert my money to ticks real quick. Go pressing the ticks button. Let's see, let's put 670,000. I get 67 ticks. Not too bad, but you know. It is what it is, you know, it's not that much, but it does add up. Oh my god, let me fast forward back now for you guys. Okay, now I'm back to the spot that I fell at earlier, so I, I made a mistake, I should have jumped to that block first. You gotta jump around so you don't hit your head on those blocks above. Just walk to the side on these, super easy. And this one's a little challenging, you just gotta, you can like, you know, try to jump around it, but I just, boom, just climb that part right there. Now this is where the tricky part gets, uh, comes to play. So you see how these things are like literally like, uh, standing up tall like this and there's no platforms in between so for this you actually have to do like a little ladder flick I think there's probably an easier way to do it but this is how I do it so as soon as I'm gonna jump onto this one I'm gonna like try to ladder flick which you, if you guys don't know how to ladder flick you should probably look up a video but basically you just gotta flick your mouse while you jump to the right so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now boom just like that oh oh but you see how like it's slanted a little bit you might not even have to ladder flick right there you might just have to jump so you can just try jumping if you want, but I'll ladder flick just in case, just in case the jump doesn't work. Okay, so now you gotta jump onto this block, be very careful, because you have to climb onto it like that. Oh my god, see, look, I almost fell. Go ahead and jump to the left right here, and then boom, and then just jump on this, and then boom. This obby probably looks super easy to you guys, but I actually struggled with this quite a bit myself before I figured it out. And boom, just like that, the obby is finished. Not that bad, and I did complete the daily quest, as you can see. Here's some other daily quests, place in the top three and around, and purchase 40 limiteds. 
not too bad. Like the top three might be a little hard for some of you guys, but purchase 40 limiteds. You just got to play the game a decent bit to get that 40 limited um, daily reward. And those give you ticks. Anyway, so enough of those. Now I'm going to tell you guys a little bit more about the uh, the badges here. So as you can see, there's a badges page. We got, there's all kinds of badges that they have for uh, for collecting all the different, like all the same hats. Like let's, once in the pumpkin, we got all the pumpkin hats. For this last dominance, we got, you know, oh wait, oh yeah, this is the badge where you have to collect every single other badge in the game to get this badge. So this this is the hardest badge in the game. Because to get that badge, you have to get all the other badges, including the Prestige Master, which is reaching Prestige 10, which takes forever. Now, speaking of Prestige 10, if you guys want to spend Robux in this game, I highly suggest you buy the Double XP Pass. As you can see, this is the only Game Pass I decided to buy out of all these. Now, some of these are actually pretty worth it, like Item Leaker is a good one. You know, there's starting cash ones as well, and there's the Timer Pass, which you could get by uh, getting to, um, whatchamacallit? Getting to that 50 daily quest, as I was talking about earlier, right here. There's the timer pass right there. So you get that game pass for free. But I suggest you buy the double XP game pass if you're going to get any of these game passes. Get this one. Because the double XP really helps. I mean, it speaks for itself what it does for you. Because um, I have the double XP pass, and I'm only on Prestige 2. And I've actually been playing this game quite a decent bit. Uh, oh yeah, in case you guys didn't know. If we go over here, this is the Prestige Icons uh, thing over here. See, some of these look really cool, like uh, the Prestige 7 with the sword, or the Dark Heart, whatever. I like that one. Prestige 10 looks pretty dope as well. Anyway, enough of that. Back to the badges. So there's a lot of these badges where if you click the same amount of hat, you will get the badge. Now, here's something to note about these uh, hats um, that you can get from, uh, that you need to collect for these badges. You have to get them in the same round. So if you don't get all, if you don't get all of these, like let's just, let's just choose one of these here. If you don't get, where, it's not showing up. If you don't get all these Dominuses in the same round, you will not get the badge. Even though it'll highlight green whenever you get the hat, like let's go back to the pumpkin one. I had this pumpkin last round and it's still highlighted green, that's a glitch. If it shows it's highlighted green, you might not actually have it in your inventory, especially if it was from the last round. You need to make sure you have all these hats in the same round, guys. So unfortunately, I learned that the hard way. Because they all highlight green once you get them. You know, they haven't fixed that glitch yet where it uh, will unhighlight itself when the round resets. But yeah. And on that note, as well, if you check the about section here, it says, um, where is it at? If you leave during a round, you have 10 minutes to rejoin the same server before your items and Robux are reset. So in case you have to leave in the middle of a round and you want to come back to your items still being there, you cannot take longer than 10 minutes. Anyways, back to the badges. So yeah, if you don't get all of them in the same round, you will not get the badge. Now I have a few of these. I have the Kings, Queens, and Duchesses one, uh, or Duchesses, whatever you say that. I've gotten all of these in one round. I know, right? That's a lot of hats. I was very lucky to get that. Oh, here's the Hoarder one. Own over 40 items. This one's super easy. You just got to own 40 hats in one round. That's super easy to get that. Then the Millionaire Trader. This is also pretty easy. You get 5 million wrap. Uh, oh, and 5 million value, I think. Yeah, get 5 million wrap and value in one round, which is not that bad. Uh, you just gotta play the game a little bit to get that one. The Domino Kim, gotten all the Dominoes in one round. Uh, let's see, I've gotten all the Chrono Hats in one round. And, oh yeah, if you also win a round, you get, uh, you get this badge as well. Now, these badges actually come with these cool looking name tags. If you go to the backpack and you go to the tags, Look at all these name tags I have. Some of these are really cool. Like if I open the chat real quick, or I can just see my name right here. If I click on the royal, look at my name. That looks awesome, dude. This is my favorite one. And I got this royal one from the kings and queens badge. So yeah, all of these you can get from uh, badges as well as uh, this fade one here. I actually got from the tick store. So look out for those uh, name tags in the tick store if you guys want to get those. And there's also auras, which I don't have any auras. But if you guys want to get auras, there's a really easy way to get them. If you have Robux, of course. Uh, if you go to the style bundle here, it's actually not that much, 175, you can get three auras from this. Um, so yeah, if you want to get another game pass, I suggest you get that one next. Uh, and there's also a couple auras that will show up in the tick store, I know. But I don't think you get any auras from any of the badges, so that's unfortunate. That's just how the game is. Y you really have to work for these badges. It's not only luck, but skill as well to be able to collect all the uh, hats for a single badge. Now, I don't know why, <laughs> well I do know why I obsess over these badges, because I'm a badge collector. So I'm going to hopefully get all these badges one day. Maybe not the prestige one or the one for owning all the badges, but I plan on getting all the hat badges soon, hopefully. Um, and on that note, guys, as you can see, items released 13 out of 90. 
there's actually another uh, kind of game where you can have 180 items total. So you want to be able to vote for that. It's called Classic. This is the fast round. You do not want the fast round if you want to get these badges. You have to have it on Classic. Because if you have it on Classic, you can get up to 180 items in one game. So yeah, in case you don't know about that, you need to vote for Classic every time the round resets if you want to have any chance of getting these badges. Because it is very unlikely you'll get the badges with only 90, 90 items in the game. Uh, so yeah, that's it for this video guys. I did leave out a few things. If you guys want me to make a part two, I can do that. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, please like and subscribe if you want to see more of this kind of content because I plan on making more videos in this game since it's so much fun. And uh, yeah, there's a few things I left out which I can include in another video if I decide to make another video in this game. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.